Hi, um, I'm Maria and I work for uh, an umbrella charity called Sustain, um, which is the Alliance for Better Food and Farming. Um, so we represent many different other charities and groups and we also uh, run campaigns in different areas relating to food and farming. It's linking the communities together basically, so whether or not that's just about the, the, the food or it's how they use the natural space to create those communities. So quite often the kind of art side of things comes into that in terms of creating a mural or how the actual space is actually designed. For us it's about learning what the catalyst of how those communities started. Um, nowhere is that seems to be documented because that might be ca a catalyst in terms of a group of small people coming together to regenerate a urban space for instance which could be on a housing estate or it could be a waste piece of land um, so somebody's got an initial idea which then creates that community but we're not able to document what the land use was before and how those communities have evolved Um, as a charity, we run a number of campaigns and a lot of them about uh, creating next networks with uh, grassroots projects who are involved in urban food growing, whether or not that's through our capital growth programme or our Big Dig campaign, for instance. So we've got a network of urban food growing spaces that we can, uh, we can gain information from. So they can be key learning sites, we can use them as case studies, we can get them to inform the research questions. From us as a charity point of view, uh, we can get involved with this because we're very good at building grassroots networks. So it's about disseminating the research information that we gain through this project and actually making it work for those people who might do the next stage to it.